Whether you decided you really love bourbon or you still find yourself a little bourbon curious, let me show you how you can stock your very own bourbon bar for as little as $200. Welcome everybody, I'm DMC from Research and Bourbon. I'm going to show you some great bottles you can buy to stock your own bourbon bar, spending no more than $200. First up is going to be the bottle I think would be a great anchor to anybody's bourbon bar, and that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is a limited release uh, from Heaven Hill. It comes out three times a year. Um, it's, you know, it's not super hard to find, but you do have to hunt for it. Um, and when and each one of those releases, those three releases each year, once they're gone, they're gone. But you know, there's always another one a few months later. This is a 12-year age state of bourbon that's unfiltered. It is comes in at barrel proof, but it is non-chill filtered. It is a batch product. It's not a single barrel. And they name these A1, B5, or C9 um, for the A, B, and C batch each year. They come out in January, May, and September. Um, this particular bottle is uh, B5. 22 which comes in at 121 proof so this was the may release last year in 2022 comes in at 121 proof uh, i got another bottle here i'm going to pour some while i talk um, and this is the c920 batch which comes in at 132.8 proof so like i said these are batched um, but they are um, they are barrel proof so they do vary around in proof a little bit. I mean, you're gonna be anywhere from 120 to 140, basically. And um, this is just a great bourbon. It's got a wonderful nose, a wonderful taste. Um, it's, you know, it's got some heat, but it's got spice and, and great oak. Um, I mean, I grew up here in Kentucky, grew around Rick Houses. If you've ever visited Kentucky and, and did a distillery tour and, and went through a Rick House, the nose on this is just right there, like a Rick House. Wonderful nose. Beautiful, spicy, you know, caramelly um, oak taste on that. And you cannot go wrong with this. Now, this is the only bottle I'm going to give you some alternates for. Um, like I say, this is a limited release, so you do have to hunt for this. I recommend, even if you can't find this now and you start with something else, keep hunting for it because it does come out three times a year and you're going to be able to find it in the in january february look for it may june look for it september october look for it and, it, and if you're looking you know you should be able to find one so my number one alternate to this is going to be old forester 1920 which comes in 115 proof it's not actually barrel proof but it is pretty hot proof um, it's got some great um, spice and and oak and deep dark flavors to it. That's a wonderful pour. You know, my second alternate would be Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which comes in 116.8 proof, and that is a barrel proof uh, from Wild Turkey Distillery, and, and it's got some great, uh, you know, flavors, similar flavors, some oakiness and and spice and levels, and it's just a, a great sipper. My third alternate would be a Knob Creek Single Barrel uh, bottle, which those come in at 120 proof, and they are single barrels. They're they're not barrel proof. Um, you know, close to it, but but they are a single barrel, which checks another box. But those are, you know, just like the Old Forcer 1920 or, or the Ledge Craig or the or the Rare Breed. You know, it's it's got the got all those uh, that spice level. It's got it's got the oakiness and, the, and just the deep flavors of of a, of a good you know barrel proof bourbon. But yeah, those, those you ought to be able to find. You ought to be able to find the Not Craig single barrels, the Wild Turkey. Rare Breed and the Old Forcer 1920 if you look for those fairly easily, one of those for sure. And those are going to be a little cheaper. Um, this is a $200 price list here. So these Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proofs, we're going to clock this in at $70 for this Elijah Craig. And those other three alternates are going to be between $45 and $60. So if you can't find Elijah Craig and you get one of, the, one of those other ones, then you're going to save yourself some money and you might be able to get... Uh, a more expensive bottle than one of the other ones I suggest, but we're going to clock this Elijah Craig in as the first bottle on our list at $70. All right, the second bottle on the list is going to be Woodford Reserve. Um, this is definitely a little bit lower proof, comes in at 90.4 proof. 
Yeah, it's 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 a very well-rounded bourbon. It has it has a, a great sweetness to it. Some some caramel, um, you know, some sugary sweetness, uh, brown sugar sweetness. But it's got um, you know it's got good subdued oak. It's got you know just got uh, you know, nice bourbon flavors. Uh, and the Woodford uh, mash bill has 18% rye, so it's a little bit spicier on the rye side than like the Elijah Craig, but uh, quite a bit lower proof. So uh, whether you're putting together this this bourbon bar for yourself or for friends and family coming over, this is going to be a great bottle to have on hand for a nice, easy sipper uh, as opposed to this, you know, high proof uh, cast strength stuff. Um, you know, you can, you can sip this, uh, you know, easier on, on any given day. But um, some great flavor on this. And this comes in at $30. So we've only got two bottles here so far. We've already spent $100. We're already halfway through. But I think we're going to be able to finish this up with four more bottles. And we'll have six bottles total on our list. All right, so the third bottle on our list is going to be Maker's Mark. Maker's 46. This comes in at 94 proof. And this is a weeded mash bill bourbon. So this is going to be the only weeded bourbon on our list. Um, and this is also what would be considered a finished bourbon. Uh, it's basically regular Maker's Mark, which is aged in the barrel, and then they put some additional uh, French oak staves in the barrel and age it for an, for an, an additional time. Um, and that those French oak staves give it a little bit more spice and whatnot. But um, you know the, the wheat in here um, definitely plays a little different than the than the normal rye mash bill bourbons. Uh, but this is has some great flavor. Um, you know, great pickup. This comes in. We're going to call this twenty-eight dollars, but um, you know this this is a nice uh, nice easy sipper also with some with some good spice and good flavor. Um, you yeah, know, good pickup. All right, the fourth bottle on our list is going to be Old Granddad Bottle and Bond. So this comes in at hundred proof. Uh, Old Granddad is made by Jim Beam Distillery, but this is not the standard Jim Beam uh, mash bill for bourbon. This is the Jim Beam's High Rye Mash Bill, which is also used in Basil Hayden and such, but um, this is uh, only the lowest corn, 63% corn and 27% rye. So it's going to be a little bit spicier from all that rye, um, hunter proof. So it is, it is bottle and bond, which checks off another box. Uh, but you know, great, you know, spicy sip on its own, great bourbon flavor, uh, great in cocktails also. It really, really holds its own. Um, there is a 114 proof version of this, Old Granddad 114. You know, if you saved some money on the original bottle um, and all that, then you want to spend a little bit more, you know, get, you can get the Old Granddad 114. It's honestly only about $8 more, um, but we're going to call this $20. And um, that's our fourth bottle on the list. All right, it's getting a little crowded here. But the fifth bottle on the list is going to be Wild Turkey 101. Um, this particular bottle is a 1.75 liter bottle, but um, the regular 750 size bottle comes in at um, $20 also, just like the old granddad. So it's an additional $20. It's 101 proof as the name implies from Wild Turkey Distillery. And this is just a great, um, a great sipping uh, bottle of, of bourbon also. Um, this, this, has, uh, this has some, some definite, some wood influence Sometimes it has some more floral or fruity notes on there, but um, you know the spice levels not too high. The proof points um, uh, a great, you know, great entry level proof point, and uh, this also holds up well in cocktails. But um, you know, Wild Turkey 101, it's gonna be our fifth bottle. All right, so so far we've spent a hundred dollars over here, and we spent um, sixty-eight dollars over here, so we've got thirty-two dollars left over. Um, you know. Those prices are going to vary, uh, and I will say that the prices I'm using are my list price on you know shelf price before tax. So honestly, if I went out and, and bought all these bottles, uh, it's going to cost me a little bit more than two hundred dollars because of the tax. But I mean, I think I would be able to go buy these all for less than two hundred and ten for sure. So I've got thirty-two dollars left over. I'm not actually not going to spend it all, but I'm going to go with the sixth and last bottle on this list. I'm going to go with Jack Daniels Bonded. So this is a new entry to the market last year uh, from Jack Daniels. This is supposedly going to be a permanent permanent release. Uh, it is uh, should be available nationwide. But this, um, they have two different size bottles of this. This is actually only 700 milliliter bottle, and they do have a one liter bottle. 
but the 700 milliliter I can get for $30. So that keeps me under the $200 price point for this list. Uh, this comes, it's bottle and bond, so this comes at 100 proof. Uh, you know, this has some great caramel flavor. Uh, that, that charcoal, that maple charcoal they use, you know, imparts some, some great sweetness. So it's got some good Jack Daniels flavor. Um, you know, some people might argue that it's technically not a bourbon, but um, a lot of people argue that it is absolutely a bourbon, and I'm in that ballpark. But um, this is a great bottle to have on hand. People will reach for this to, to grab a pour. It's a great sip. But this is going to be the lowest rye in the, in the entire lineup and the most corn forward. Um, the mash bill that Jack Daniels uses is actually 80% corn and only 8% rye and then 12% malted barley. So um, very low rye, very high corn. Once again, it's, it's got some great sweetness. It's got some great caramel depth and, and even some vanilla and stuff in there. Um, so a great sip. But, uh, but here's our lineup. Coming in at a little less than $200 uh, by my calculations. And I think um, this would give you a great bar to have at home, to have people over. You'll be able to pour, you know, some good bourbon for them, whether they're looking for weeded bourbon, whether they're looking for high rye bourbon, whether they're looking for a cocktail. Um, you know, got some barrel proof over here. Um, just, you know, the whole gambit of what you, what you can sip in the bourbon world. You know, just uh, some good stuff to play around with. All right, everybody, I hope you liked what you saw. Hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what bottles you keep on your bourbon bar. Be interested to know. You know, are these staples of yours or you keep something, you keep others? Um, definitely be interested to know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Appreciate that. Remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers.